Hi guys, it's Thomas here from cotbase.com. Welcome to this week's COT review, where we're gonna have a look at the 38th report of this year. As usual, we're gonna start off with the changes in commercials positions. Here we go, and uh, start off with the dollar index where we had a huge 58% change in commercials positions, and as you can see, we've got a 62% change in large speculators uh, positions, large, large changes over there. Uh, definitely towards uh, uh, the bullish side of the market, so it's a, a bull signal. And uh, we're going to open the five-year chart to see how extreme the market is. Uh, you can see that small speculators are headed towards the zero line. Uh, could actually turn that short in a few weeks. And if you look at the chart uh, to find similar uh, occasions, the last one occurred somewhere over here, uh, which was a bottom in prices, also also one over here and over here. So whenever small speculators uh, were at uh, such levels, you, it coincided with prices being uh, in low territory. So it could happen actually right now. And the fact that we've got this uh, a huge buy signal from commercials uh, suggests that uh, this could actually be a good risk reward trade if you were uh, going to take it uh, on Monday. Day. Uh, moving on to the 30 year bond where we had a 31% change in commercials positions. There we go. Uh, I don't really know whether uh, large speculators turn net short or not. They're actually really close to the zero line. Let's have a look at the three month chart. Maybe that's uh, a bit more precise. Uh, yes, I believe they are net short. Uh, but uh, one thing's for sure all the three market participants are very close to the zero line, meaning uh, they're more or less in a neutral zone. Can't really tell which direction they're headed. But uh, I mean, if you look at the large speculators for the past uh, few weeks, month, uh, they've actually uh, decreased their now long positions. And, uh, you know, large speculators being uh, very big trend followers suggest that uh, prices could actually follow through and go even lower. Uh, life cattle, we've got a 26% change over there. Uh, let's have a look at that market. Uh, commercials net long and large speculators still net uh, long. I mean, sorry, commercials were net, just uh, turned net short. Uh, and uh, small speculators uh, on the one year time frame are actually the most optimistic relative terms, of course. Uh, let's have a look at the five year chart. There we go. And yes, uh, even on the five-year chart, you can see small speculators being, uh, as I said, uh, in relative terms, the most optimistic, although they're net short. Uh, but I always tell you that uh, don't forget, a lot of commercial participants in this market are actually uh, grouped to the small speculators. They're just not reaching the reporting limits that CFTC uh, puts out. So um, it's, an, it's an interesting picture. Uh, but even though said this, uh, interesting to see commercials uh, increasing net short levels while small speculators are decreasing these levels. Moving on to the coffee market with a 20% change over there in uh, commercials positions. Let's have a look at that market. We've been analyzing this uh, market because uh, uh, we had some uh, signals in the past few weeks. Uh, the change size is definitely larger than average, so I would, wouldn't be surprised if prices uh, declined on that. But in the medium to long term, the question is uh, whether uh, this, uh, the fact that commercials were uh, and are still not long suggests a bullish picture. So I would be expecting some kind of a, a bullish move in the medium long term rather than a, a bearish one. Uh, as you can see, that happened over here in the past. So. It's, again, a market that you should have your eyes on, definitely. Moving on to the COT extreme and large speculators, as we do always, we've still got Canadian dollar and platinum on top with all time signals. Uh, that was the case last week. I'm just going to open the five-year chart uh, uh, so we can have a look at that extreme uh, on this uh, wider chart. And yes, the, the extreme is very large, that's for sure. Small speculators are not at all time level, but still in extreme territories. So um, actually, prices have started to decline uh, on last week's all time signal. So this could follow through. Uh, this could be the top and we could see prices moving further down. The stress levels are definitely high in this market. So if such uh, price actions happen, we should not be uh, surprised. Platinum, still all-time extreme. Uh, let's have a look at the five-year chart, whether small speculators moved uh, 
uh, further up they are they're moving they're moving uh, towards uh, higher levels uh, but still still not at those uh, all-time or close to all-time levels which happened in the last two occasions when prices uh, reacted to the extreme in the market uh, the same th thing applies here as uh, in Canadian dollar stress levels are building up they're getting higher and higher so uh, you should have your eyes on this market as well uh, I'm not going to show you any more markets but uh, you can check all the charts at our COT charts page or if you would like to have a more detailed analysis just log on to cotbase.com and you can have a look at other COT report types data types and have uh, other great functions added to your table so uh, thanks very much for being with me this week I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next week take care have a great weekend bye bye